Hey everyone, this is Ravinda. So today we'll be creating this simple scene but with some exciting lights inside Blender. I think let's get started. So let me change this view to shader view. Alright, so let's first create a cylinder and moving to the left view and again like this. Large, right? So, idea here is to create a studio kind of setup like this. And then we're going to the left view. Oops, the left view. You get editable, GZ, yeah, something like this. And again, selecting the vertices. Oops, so take these edges, making it smooth like this, right? And on this one, yeah. So this will be our uh, uh, more basic studio, <laughs> a very basic studio. And what I'm going to do is I'm you know, going to enable my diamond shapes. So I'm not going into modeling but you can also uh, generate these diamonds or you can even get these diamond shapes uh, by enabling a uh, add-on which is here you can type extra and you can get from extra mesh you can enable me extra mesh right and when you go to the mesh properties and a diamond you can select a brilliant diamond right so here yeah so here will be diamond shape right, right? Oops. Okay, so what I've done is I've simply you know attached those to uh, some couple of empty objects so that I these are easy to rotate, right? So this is one. All right, so this will be my scene. So let me quickly set up my you know camera over here. So let me enable camera and hit Control Alt and Numpad Zero and exit that view. I personally like to work on a couple of, couple of views when it's for the final scene and this is my editor I basically call it as editor where you can, I can see okay where is my camera and where are my objects right so this is my this is my view okay for lights okay so here comes the exciting part for lights what you can do is let's create a single light uh, light, simple area light, right? Yeah, this is something like this. So the trick is, you know, how can we, you know, uh, make that light so dynamic? For example, if you, when you rotate your x-axis, it shifts the hue values, right? So we'll be creating that uh, hue, that node setup for light. So you can select this light. So let's quickly see our render. Okay, so this is our render view, and this is our light, right? So we need to use use nodes for that light. And to create a setup, let's first introduce a uh, you know geometry node, right? And for the incoming value, we need to into separate x y z. For separate after XYZ, we can plug that X value to the math node and instead of add to fraction, then we have combine color node, we are changing the HSP value. So this one will plug to the hue. So we want to shift towards shift the hue value of light. Then we can plug that to emission, right? But nothing will happen because we need to change these both values to one, right? So here are the factor. So now you can change the strength to two and angle to ninety. So this is your colorful lights. Now the best part is, so let's say if you want to move it to somewhere, um, you know, towards left, and you want to change to angle something like this 
so you can see that you know the hue is getting changed right so let me just quickly correct the angle so this should be oops so this should be sorry so this should be something like this and i do change my angle oops my system is getting slow so i have to change my system angle yeah and you can see like this right so what i can really do is i just took that part so this is one right so this is one light so i simply change my view or duplicate my light by pressing shift d i can change my angle change my rotation bring that up so this will be my background light right, something like this and you can again go for the higher strength value in case you want to fill that background with lots of light yeah so this will be the effect so here you can see that when i'm changing my direction my light color is getting changed yeah okay so yeah so this is my background then you can again go for the higher strength values like this and in the in the uh, current example my camera angle was somewhere slightly towards top like this and i'm also using one additional light which is free from this setup okay it's free from this setup and i'm going to delete everything and, uh, yeah using the same strength i'm going to be low value of my power strength to do something like this and the angle was also towards the lower side okay here we can again go for some artistic you know setup as per your, your choice for example like here i want to go for this kind of scene where my angle is slightly dim and yes uh for this uh scene i'll mention it later on as well and for this specifically you know this type of scene i'm not using any uh background and for the background you can completely change it to dark so that your overall colors will be more contrasting right so this will be my background you know for the diamond shapes i'm using this kind of uh, glass prism setup where we have glass bsdf we have transparent bsdf they are both plug into mix shader and for the factor i'm using a light path with this map node of maximum and a couple of these lines are moving to the value right and this is my glass shader and for the floor you can you know turn on the uh receive glass shader uh the caustics and for both the diamonds i think i have already turned on the glass shadow yeah glass caustic shadows but for the lights you need to enable the show shadow caustics for the lights where you want to add the caustics and for the light setup uh in the cycles you can go for light up where we can turn the reflective and diffractive so that we can see the caustics so for uh for the base uh what i have done was uh i did i created a new material so i use the wave texture and the noise texture combine the vector to the, oops sorry oops sorry wave texture then then i use the the color ramp side with the factor <clears throat> then i move this to the roughness shader then you can press ctrl t so this you can enable a uh, node wrangler add-on 
uh, then so this is my okay so to view the effect you can simply hold control shift and click on this one color ramp and you can cycle the different nodes uh, so here what we are saying we can scale the uh, the bands overall let's use 50 right and under this short okay wait let's fire let's first reduce the angle I mean the sharpness you can slightly distort these waves and you can scale the details all like this I mean it's up it's up to you know whatever option that you want to use detail and for the detail scale you can probably go to the lighter number and again you can move these shift the right value but this is looking too broad like this right okay and again if you view the principal psdf so this should look like something like this so here's the final scene and probably do a quick render and I'll see on the other side hey I'm back so I think while it's trending you can see the result that is coming along and uh, I'm gonna pause it here and just wanted to show you the possibilities where you know you can do with, with this kind of shader so uh, let me bring my second scene up so here you can see I've used another similar setup but with some slightly different approach probably uh, do a quick render of this one again and show you the results so yeah it's uh, it's almost got rendered so as you can see the possibilities that you can do with the background so here so you can probably place your product shot in the center and you know create variety of backgrounds with all those different uh, trendy gradients so I hope you find this video helpful and you like to know your thoughts in the comment section uh, do share and subscribe this channel if you want to see all those uh, exciting tutorial tips and tricks. Uh, and uh, with this, uh, I would like to say thank you so much and goodbye.